In this video, we're going to have a look and see how you can style your content from, you know, a function that you've written, how you can style that using um, bricks. So here I have a directory listing. I have a couple of navigation items at the top where if I click on them, the page just scrolls up to the particular element. And I'd like to make that look a whole lot better. And if I head over here into my function, you'll see that I have two classes. I have the DIR listing wrap. And I have the DIR nav letter. So I'm going to recreate this div. And OK, that's an A tag. But we'll just go with the div inside Bricks for the styling. So to do that, I'm going to head over into Bricks. And then in the container right at the top, I'm going to add a div. And then I'm going to add another div um, in that div. So we have the two divs. I'm going to nest the one in the other. And I'll just scroll it up to above the title so that I can see what it looks like. And the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I get the classes from my function and paste them in. So go to the div, add a new class, and we'll add the class. Right, so we've applied that class, and I'll just remove some of the um, demo uh, content that I see is still around and then over here I'm going to get the class for the DIR nav letter and I'm going to paste that in as well so there we are on the div and um, right we already have that class and I'm just going to remove that color right so we have a div with nothing and right so there we have the the basic layout the, the first div that I added which is going to be the wrap. I'm going to give that a width of 100%. So we'll just style that quickly with 100%. And then what I'm going to do is on the inside div, I'm going to make sure that we have the selector selected. And I'm going to give that a background of turquoise. And then the other div, I'm going to give that a darker background, uh, something along those lines. We'll save. We'll head over to the website and let's just see what we've got. Um, and you'll see there's nothing to see. And the reason for that is because the divs do need some padding. So I'll go to the layout and let's just add, um, let's add five pixels all around on that one. And on the inner div, I'm going to add five pixels all around as well. Save that. And now I head back to the website and now you'll see that we have that content displayed. So that's great, um, but it hasn't been applied here, even though we use the same classes. So the reason for that is that there's another class that we need to add, and it's this brxe-div. So we need to add that to um, our customized um, function. So we'll pop that in, and we'll pop that in over there, and we'll save the changes, and then refresh, and now we should see those changes and yes they've had an effect on what we have so now we can actually start styling that more uh, in the way that we want so already i can see maybe um, i want to make those buttons a bit bigger and also put some space between them around the corners a bit so nicely done i'm going to head over to the div and let's make that 10 pixels and i'm going to add three pixels there and three pixels there um and let's save that head over to the website and already we can see that things are starting to take shape so let me go over to the first div and we'll just go to the content so yes it's going to be display flex and the moment i do that you see that that inner div then um, kind of comes back down to size the way that we would like it so that's great and then the other thing that I would like to do is on those inner divs, I just want to add a quick border. So I'm just going to do a quick border radius. Um, let's make it five. Right, so we're going to have that kind of a look. And then the outer div, we also want to get a radius on that one. So go to the border, border radius and five, and we'll save. Um, head back to the layout here and um, just check what we have. So we have the padding and then we have the inner content. So I'm going to go back and refresh. 
Right, now you can see that we have the um, buttons inside. If I'd like to square them off a bit, very easy now. I can just come in here and make sure I have the right selector. And I'm going to just make it slightly wider left and right. And now when I refresh, I'll have a, a square look. So already that's, you know, that's coming along really nicely. And because I have the flex option selected now, when I go to the top div, of course, you know, all the same rules apply. So if I want to, I could do space around, um, space evenly, center. So if we centered very nicely, quickly come around and I can see the centered items, see the items on the left. So that's one way uh, to just, you know, style the content using uh, even if it's a custom function but then just coming into bricks and using the styling options available here let's have a look push that down yeah so that's looking good um something else that we might want to do is maybe style these individual um, letters maybe you want to have them looking something similar to that and to do that then i know what i need to do i need to then come in here and copy the BRXDR nav letter and then I need to apply that style to the letter name and I can see that that is here so simply apply that style and now when I go back to the website and I refresh uh, there we can see the um, element displayed and in this case it's actually going to stretch all the way across the page because um, of the fact that it's um, it's not nested now in another element first of all so um, and then also if we look at the code uh, you will see that that particular item is in a div on its own so yes it can exist then at full width um, so what I need to do here is change the dir nav letter and I'll just scroll um, nav letter title and um, copy that. And then inside my layout in bricks, then I'm going to add another element. So we have that div. Uh, what I'll do here is add a div. And uh, let's have a look. Um, div. And then just put that over there because I just want to see what that's going to look like. And then what I'm going to do is head over back to my code. And of course, I just need that to make it work. Head back, head over to that div, add the class. So we can add a new class, save. And there we have that particular element. Now I can go in and do my, you know, maybe something different. So uh, let's have a look. Um, I do quite like the, that idea though. And then we know it was. 15, um, 15, and then 10 and 10. So we'll just save that and let's have a look and see what we've got. So refresh. Right, so that should be, um, let's have a look. Um, let me save my function, head back to the website. Right, there we have the square edges. So now I know that I'm targeting the correct element and I can then maybe I'll change the text size for that element. So then we'll just move down here to typography and I can change that to white. Um, maybe I want to change the size. And uh, let's have a look what we got now. Yeah, so that's looking a lot better. And now when I scroll down, I have a much nicer look to the page yeah that's looking a lot nicer um yeah so i think that works really well and of course now i don't want to see these elements so we're just going to add a condition to those and um we could even you know just for um you know for neatness sake um let's just add a div and put them all in that div so We'll do that, and then I'm going to drop that in, and I'll drop the other div in, and then this div, I'll just give one condition. So let's head over to conditions, 
and um, I'll just do a search for um, let's do a search for the date and we'll say that the date must be less than or equal to um, let's make it well we can make it anything we want so 20 so 2000 so it must be less than or equal to um, that date and save and then when we refresh now that shouldn't be visible because we definitely know we're near that date right so there i was able to use the styling options within bricks to style my custom content and yeah, that looks really good. And I now know that for future, whenever I'm in here and I see the div, and I'll just rename that to styling of um, items or elements. Right, and now I know that that's the styling um, part of the page. Save that. Um, yeah, and there we have it. So that's how you can use the um, brick styling options then to style any custom content that you've generated right well i hope you found that interesting um yeah super and thank you for watching